Wait for it. And gone. Gone. Oh, man, just trying to use his rocket. And gone, dude. Oh, the SPR in this game is insane. This is definitely the best sniper and probably potentially the best weapon in the entire game. I'm still on controller. This is the first time I've ever, like, properly sniped on controller. We're still continuing with our switch over to controller. And, yep, yeah, ain't bad there. And I'm surprised how easy it's been for me to switch over and actually be able to snipe on this. I thought snipers were the one thing that I would... Dude, oh my god. More AFK people. I thought snipers were the one thing I was going to continue to do on mouse and keyboard. But, uh, honestly, I'm probably just... Do these on controller as well. I'm glad that we get to start out by using the Orion camo in this video. We've already finished the gold, the platinum, and the polyatomic challenges for this. So all we've got left is the 400 kills with Orion. If you guys are new to this journey, we're currently working on the hidden ultra mastery in Modern Warfare 2, which requires you get a thousand kills with every weapon after you get the Orion camo. But for these a thousand kills, you have to use different mastery camos. So we've got to get 400 kills with the Orion camo. Hit, no hit marker VTOL, no. This will be our seventh mastery out of 51. The original plan is I wanted to finish this before Warzone 2 drops and DMZ drops. That way I could grind those nonstop. But uh, we'll probably be at like 40, 40 out of 51 by the time season one starts. Back here, buddy. Bye bye. You can run, but you can't. Oh, you can run, but you can't hide. Bye. Oh, no, 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 no. Hit markers. Come on. Come on. Aim higher, Lager. Aim higher. I honestly don't know how to feel about snipers in this game. Snipers are so fun to use in this game. They're extremely strong and it's satisfying to get multi feeds with them. At the same time, I've seen a lot of people complaining that the marksman rifles and sniper rifles are a little bit OP in this game. I can kind of see that. I, I honestly don't know where I stand on the argument because the time to kill in this game is already so quick, but uh, I, I don't know. All I know is I'm enjoying using them and I also enjoy using the other weapons, but I, I can see both sides of the argument because these things are pretty ridiculous, at least the SPR. The SPR kind of, yeah. And I'm not a good sniper either. Like, it has nothing to do with accuracy. Like, I just switched to controller three days ago, and I've been able to just pretty much hit these shots, at least with the SPR. The other snipers are a little bit harder. But yeah, that's the reason we're starting with the more OP weapons. I think the SPR is going to get a nerf in season one, so better get the... Oh, I, my teammates, Ryan Shield just blocked my shot shooting an enemy. But yeah, that's uh, better get the weapons that are going to get nerfed, the 1,000 kills with them now, and instead of when they're weaker when season one drops. And this is one of the weapons I think will probably get a nerf. That and we'll also have hardcore, and I don't think this weapon's gonna get any better when hardcore gets added. Hardcore gonna make the game worse. The time to kill is already so low. I don't, I mean, you don't have to play hardcore. It's gonna be optional, but I definitely think it's gonna help for rocket launcher kills and, and stuff along those lines. Mainly, it's gonna be in the game to help people grinding very specific challenges. Also, it might be pretty beneficial for additional weapon XP because getting that one shot, one kill medal with SMGs and ARs, probably going to be pretty good. And I mean, I feel like hardcore in this game isn't going to feel any different. In most games, hardcore is just one shot, one kill, all ARs, two shot kills for an SMG. And I think even with the lower base health in this game, I feel like the hardcore mode is probably going to feel the same, but it's going to make those rocket launcher kills so, so much easier. I'm also going to try to finish off this AK SMG as well. I think this will be our fourth SMG we've got the 1,000 kills for. And you can see we got the LAB charm on this. That is the only weapon that once we got all 1,000 kills, the charm unlocked. We Like I said, we've done six weapons. Five of them, nothing happened. But the last one, the charm actually unlocked is unusable. But the other the other uh, five ones we finished, uh, yeah, the charm was uh, not unlocked. <laughs> you know, I never was able to drop shot properly on mouse and keyboard, but on controller, it's really easy. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, all right. We're going to. No, dude. No, no. We've already fallen for this once. All right. Come in with it. All right. They're not going to expect the Akimbo Deagle rush. No, oh, what the? I feel like that guy went to go help his mom carry groceries in or something because he was not there. I kind of want to go ahead. Oh, what the heck? Final stand and grind out the riot shield or the Joker just so we can rock the riot shield and Joker charm while we use all these other weapons. If it unlocks, dude, I don't know if I saw someone rocking around with the 1000 kills that you have to get for like the Joker charm, knowing they had to get Orion first, I'd be I'd be kind of intimidated. It takes a special kind of madman to get a thousand kills with the Joker. Akimbo Deagles as a backup weapon is insane. I'm surprised I don't see a ton of people rocking these. These things are just insane hand cannons. I'm not going to revive you, teammate. You're going to have to eat yourself. I don't revive. Even teammates, I don't revive teammates who are in final stand. Making that making that rule right now. If you're a teammate and you go to final stand near me, I'm sorry. You shouldn't have been using final stand. You ain't getting no revive. Hello? Can I help you? Okay. They're both... <laughs> Leave me alone. 
Just spawned and I got people just staring at me. Oh, that dude was nice. Oh, there's the green camo again. Oh, there's another person. I'm going to be so sad once we finish the SPR because we're getting close. We're not going to be able to use this anymore once we get the 1,000 kills. We've got to move on to brighter, greener pastures. I have been trying all day to avoid this map, but the last, like, three lobbies I've been in have all ended in this map. So I think the game's not going to let me go on until I just suck it up and play the border crossing map, which I don't, I don't hate it as much as everyone else. I don't think it's as bad as Piccadilly, but yeah, this is... This map has got more and more annoying as I played it more and more. There we go. I really like how much grindable stuff there is in this game. They really have a ton for year two. I mean, you've got the mastery camo. You've got the 1,000 kills with every weapon. But uh, one thing I'm missing is operator challenges. I, I loved in Vanguard the fact that you could level up an operator level 20, unlocking gold gear and a bunch of other gear for the operator. And obviously Black Ops 3 had hero gear and a bunch of cool stuff. That's the one type of progression this game is missing is like the hero gear. Could, could you imagine? I already know that the hidden ultra mastery in this game is insane. But imagine if they made another mastery reward that involved like maxing out every operator, getting it to level 20, getting the Orion camo, getting the 1000 kills with every weapon, getting all of the calling cards. Dude, I, I, there's so many different options. That would that would be a little, a little bit overkill. But uh, if it wasn't the game, we'd get it. I promise you that. And Infinity Ward's done this before. Back in Infinite Warfare, you could actually unlock golden and even like space. Um, What was it called? What was it called? Dark Aether? No, 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 no. Black Sky. You could unlock Black Sky gear for your operator. So essentially imagine having this camo right here, but on your operator outfits. That's what you were able to do in Infinite Warfare. And the best part is it was free. You didn't have to pay for it. And that's that to me, I think, is one of the reasons we don't see these super cool operator skins. Oh, I didn't bolt it back. Uh, operator skin unlocks anymore is because I feel like if you could unlock like space operator skins for your characters, you probably wouldn't buy the bundle ones. But being able to unlock the space one for the new characters would be pretty sick. Like Snoop Dogg, dude, getting the golden Snoop Dogg character, insane. Insane. Getting the golden Terminators, one of my favorite things whenever a new operator was to come out, was to max it out and get the space version. Dude, where's the dude? Oh, there he is. There he is. And there's his friend. No, 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 no. I, I, I want my... There you go. Even though the gold camo does look pretty sick, uh, this is the one we got to use. Oh, there we go. That is the 4,000, or I guess the 1,000 kills with this. So that is done. Switch back to the SPR. So that is one of two weapons we want to fix in this. Look at, look, oh, oh yeah. So every time someone types the word Orion into game chat, it blurs it. Because no joke, you cannot type in the word Orion in the game chat. It gets censored. So if you ever see, if you're ever looking at your chat on the side, and all of a sudden you see like the sensor beep and then camo, they just said Orion camo. <laughs> yes, the, the name of the final mastery camo in this game Sets off the sensor in the game chat. Woo! I, that guy was behind a wall. Should not have hit that shot. Woo! Oh, is that a Kaladi? Let's go, baby! Let's go, Javelin. Let's go. Dude, we're killing it with Javelin kills this game. Are we anywhere close to a thousand kills? No. Are we eventually going to get there? Maybe. Or you know what? Maybe when DLC 1 drops or when Season 1 drops, maybe we can replace the Javelin with you know, the honey badger. That would, hopefully that's the case. Maybe we're wasting our time. We might be able to replace a couple of the weapons with DLC weapons so we can get a thousand kills with, you know, things that aren't the shield and javelin and rocket launchers. Mr. Mountain Dew Man, I got a bullet for you. Which way, which way? Are they playing whack-a-mole with me? Oh my God, that was just a very complicated game of whack-a-mole. Popping left, right, left, right. See, right there. It, it bleeped it out. He said, congrats on... <laughs> <laughs> it bleeps it out, I promise. Yo, Lego, I love the YouTube, bro. Congrats on the the, the bleep. <laughs> bro, why does it censor out Orion, dude? Appreciate you. Thank you for congratulating me on getting bleep. No problem. I just watched your channel on how to get RPGs in gold. Bleep. Well, dude, appreciate you watching the tutorial on how to get the RPGs gold and bleep. Don't worry guys, if anyone's having trouble getting bleep, I'm gonna be showing you how to get bleep today on this video. If you've ever wanted to achieve bleep. Another one bites the dust. Oh no, no, I couldn't hit the third. My aim's bad. Dude, I'm loving this new bleep camo. SPR with the new bleep camo is, dude, it's so good. Boom, baby. Anyone else, anyone else? 
Ooh, there we go. That should be it. That should be it. There we go. That is all. 1,000 kills with the SPR. Bye-bye, SPR. You'll be missed. I enjoyed using you so much. Okay, so if we now really quickly go back to the main menu, go to Gunsmith, go to Customize, go to Weapon Mastery. Look at that. 100 out of 100, 200, 200, 300, 300, 400 to 400. This should say 4 out of 4, but it's bugged. Hopefully, whenever it gets updated, it will be fixed. And then on top of that, in this episode, we also went to this little SMG right here. Go to Camo Weapon Mastery. Once again, this one says 2 out of 4, but it should say 4 out of 4. 100 out of 100, 200 to 200, 300, 300, 400, 400. And with that, we are done with this episode, boys. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see what happens when we finish all 51 of these, I think we're up to 8 now. We are 8 out of 51. Make sure to sub to the channel. I'll be showing you guys what's happening along the way in the journey. And let me know in the comments which weapon you want me to do next. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you like or comment, I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!